Live from ESPN, we got the Ohio High School Basketball Tournament. We got the Lincoln Heights Tigers and the Wilbur Bulldogs. As soon as it started the game, number 32 get the ball. He drives. He goes in with a tough layup and end up getting the first bucket. But as the quarter progressed, Lincoln Heights started getting in the game. The star green started going out there, giving them buckets, just dishing it off. And they start point guard, Anthony Wright, just throwing up anything. and end up getting a 12-6 lead in the first quarter. Now Green got the ball again. He in that post. He gives it to the star right. He's shooting a three. And he's just getting a bucket. And he's look at the Bulldogs sideline. They just disgusted with it. They just don't like what's going on to their team right now. And yup, the team got another break. Bulldogs out there breaking that screen out there splashing. Oh my goodness. Coach is not out there doing nothing. He is not arguing. He's not yelling at his team. Nothing. He's out there observing the beatdown. 21 and 13. Green shoots another shot. He misses, but they get an offensive rebound. End up putting the ball right back up. At halftime, it's 25 to 15. Tigers are up. And as they miss, it's just Justin Harper is not out there doing nothing. That's Woodward's best point guard. He's the best point guard in the state of Ohio, but he's not showing up. And Wright just driving the lane, getting an easy layup. And I guess they find call the timeout. Who's that guy? He's just a shame. Look, he's the center of his own team. He's putting his head down. He's giving up. Coach Timms ended up calling the timeout, and I guess he's about to sub in his backup team. Who's number 25? Who's this guy? He got the ball in his hand. He's calling for a pick. He do a crossover. He splits the defense. He's driving lane. He's booming. Oh, my goodness. Can we get a replay? Oh, my God. Look at that dunk intensity. Man, he got hops on him. Later in the quarter, oh my God, he get the rebound. They give it to number 25. He bring the ball up court. He observing the court. He crossing over. He jumps and spins. He find his man. And he get a nice assist right there. What kind of pass was that? Oh my goodness. Seeing this guy OJ in the post. He crossing over. He spinning. He turning around. Hit him with an MJ fadeaway. Boom, yeah. Oh my God. This guy is just amazing. Who is this guy? Why he been on the bench all this game? Can he bring them back? Oh, they throw it down to OJ. OJ throws it up to his teammate and get the alley-oop. He's a playmaker. He's a true playmaker. He move around the court. Focus the over. Oh, my God. He's open. Can he shoot it? And he gets the bucket. He's playing some tight defense. The, oh, my God. He gets the steal. He's on a fast break. He's going to stop. He's going to shoot the three. And he snaps that net. This guy, OJ Sparks, just end up chopping it down the lead to single digits. Seven-point deficit. Can he bring them back? Can he win the game? Looks like them Lincoln Tigers got a game now. They only up by seven. OJ can bring them back and hopefully get that lead. Looks like OJ talking over with the coach that he wanted to get a little bit of rest or whatever. But now he's back on the court. You roll by right. He ended up missing. OJ running down court. He's cherry picking. But he stops at the three-point line. He's wide open. He shoots it. Facial. Uh, oh, my goodness. He just sprayed him. OJ bring the ball up court. He calling the ISO. He trying to cook him up. They end up double team him, leaving the man wide open at the three point line as he shoots it and he gets the bucket. Down by three. Bulldogs trying to make this a one possession game. And they throw up a tough layup and he gets the bucket. And they end up having to foul, send him to the free throw lines. OJ got the ball off the inbound, shoots the tough three and he gets it. OJ and his teammate double team the star green, giving Price the easy lane to get the bucket. Now down by two, OJ getting the ball with three seconds left. He cross over, he run into his spot. He shoots the fade away. Snap that net. Just look at his facial expression. He just body bagged his competition. Round one is over. So, how does it feel to be in the first annual Sports Commentator March Madness? I would like to thank the core four of Game Face Studios for this opportunity. I'm glad I get a chance to show you what I can do in this sports commentator March Madness. I hope you enjoy it. What's good everybody? I'm back again with another video and this time I'm playing a little NBA 2K13 featuring Mr. Curtis Lane aka Mr. Fundamentals aka Michael Wave Jr. So yeah, as you can see, I'm in the sports commentator March Madness, Mr. Tent Seed himself, 
So hopefully I can get in here and get a couple upsets. You know I'm trying to win. But let's hop right into this gameplay. So Dwight Howard's at the free throw line. Mr. 50-50 himself because he can't make half his free throws. I get the rebound. I kick it out of Batum. He gets the bang-bang to go. So I'm liking that early. Batum's getting off. I ain't got to worry about doing all the scoring. But you know I'm going to score regardless. Like a professional dart player, I bust out the 180 right here on the alley oop. You know I had to get him with that 180. But yeah, I kick it down to my rookie Norm Walker. He misses the dunk. Yes, he's my rookie. I'm going to take care of it. He's going to have to bring me some extra Krispy Kreme donuts for the next game for that for missing that dunk. But I'm driving right here, and I get the flush on Dwight Howard. And Dwight Howard is the first victim of a fathead. Check out that dunk intensity, 74. I think it'll be a little bit higher. They didn't even give me a crowd intensity meter on that one. I don't know what's up with that. When I get the ball on the transition break, I bring it down, and I hit him with the spin cycle with no fabric softener, and I get the jumper to go. And then they just didn't even pick me up. I'm trying to figure out why not, and I get the bang bang to go right there. You would think they would pick me up because I'm getting buckets right now. So I kick it down to Holland for the layup. And like a 6'2 center in high school, he just slaps the backboard and does a hard layup. So I kick it to Norm. Norm's like, hey, I'm not bringing any extra donuts for you tonight. So Norm gets the dunk in the and one, the hoop and the harm. So I'm playing good D right here. And they just acted like, you know what? You don't have lockdown defender. I mean... Knockdown Defender, I would have stopped that. You know what I'm saying? Knockdown Defender, I paid 7,500 VC, and you mean to tell me it didn't work this time? But you know Michael Wade Jr. is mad, and I leave him in the dust, break his ankles, and I get another fat head on D12. That was just sick, man. D12 can do anything about that. And, and matter of fact, fathead.com gave you a promotional code to use right here. Crowd Intensity 108. Make sure you put that in the promo code box to get that free shipping and handling. You're going to need it because those fat heads ain't cheap. But right here, I had him a little, little step back on the signature gather. Nothing but net. You know how to do it. Hall of Fame, simulation, and I still get it to go. But right here, I want to go that way, that way. Oh, double team. I got to go the other way. And I get another 180 again. I don't get this. Why am I reversing so much? This is like my favorite play right here. A, a double screen, I come off, Gasol can't help, I hit him with a 360. Come on, man. I'm showing out for the fans right here. This is Lob City. So check it out, the replay. Look at the easy bakes. Those are some nice shoes from Michael Wade Jr. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Hold on, let me go check my stats real quick. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like that. All right, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all be good.